Hi, I'm Eric, uh, shooting from the Luna Lab. Um, lately, I've been really into road bikes. Uh, one of our uh, um, employees had a had a really cool road bike that he brought in with a cyclone drive on it that did 40 miles an hour. It was really exhilarating and fun to ride, and also kind of a death trap because it only had one brake, and he didn't have the brake adjusted very well. So, anyways, uh, I started thinking a lot about road bikes, and this thing's uh, really getting close to. Uh, what I envision as being a really good bike. It's only 45 pounds. It, when you pick it up, it feels just barely heavier than a regular mountain bike. It has a carbon fiber fork, uh, full carbon fiber fork going up to the stem. Then it has uh, aluminum uh, 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 hydroform tubing. And this one is a customer bike. He, ha he chose the optional Brook Saddle, which is an option that we picked lately, that we've been putting on lately. And as you can see, it has the BBS HD with the Luna Eclipse. And um, what this does is gives you a pretty high gearing so you can hit the higher miles per hour. You could probably get up to 40 miles an hour on this bike. We also chose to put Mazda pedals as a standard option on this bike. So these are $70, $80 pedals, high quality with sealed bearings, which really bring out the colors of the bike. Uh, much better than the, the KHS pedals that come stock with the bike. Um, also, one thing I love about Luna Bikes with this partnership we have with KHS, we're starting with bikes that make it as bicycles um, to start with. So we have a, a very good group set that you'll never see on an electric bike. It's the Tiagra Shimano. That's a very expensive group set. If you were to buy it separately, it'd be a pretty penny. It's a level four, uh, um, below like Dura Ace and 105 and I forget the other one, Ortega or something like that, and right after that comes Tiagra. And really the only difference on a road bike with those different group sets is the, um, is the weight. And the Tiagra works perfectly, it just might be a little less heavy. And this one has uh, mechanical brakes on it, right? And the mechanical brakes is because it's a road bike, and um, mechanical brakes are, uh, uh, um, uh, I, when you start getting into disc brakes, they look a little funky on these handles here. And also you can see on these handles the shifters. The big handle is to shift up uh, and the little handle is to shift down. Um, this is like part of the Tiagra group set. And basically you just got like a road machine right here. Um, I love that it has disc brakes. It's a very rare on a road bike. Uh, like this to have disc brakes and also we have the cross-country tires on it. Uh, these are Kinda tires. Uh, the tires alone on this bike would be like 40 bucks each if you were to buy them. And really that's where we're really trying to stand out with our bicycles is uh, it used to bother me when I when I rode a, an electric bike uh, or reviewed an electric bike from one of the big companies and they have these like cheap components that nobody would ever have on a regular bike. This thing has quality components all the way around. You see the FSA headset, you see the quality um, frame made in Taiwan with really good like welds. And I, um, then we add all our niceties to it like color screen, BBS HD with our special sprocket. This is our color screen right here. And uh, you have like uh, five levels of assist. And one tricky thing about this bike is where to put the throttle. We put the throttle here and um, I don't want to hit it while it's on. Let me turn it off, but I'll show you how this works. Uh, if you're in full blown riding position here, you can push up with your thumb, or if you're riding up like this, um, you can push up with your thumb this way. But you have pedal assist with this road bike, and that's really how these bikes are supposed to be ridden. Just put it on the highest pedal assist level and, and let, the, let your pedal cadence decide um, how fast you go. That's really the proper way to ride a road bike like this. And you know, it's really designed for guys who want to go out riding with a, uh, on the street and, or, or on like light fire roads, it's going to do fine. Um, and it's a very, uh, 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 not too much complexity with suspension. It's, it's really clean looking, kind of like the fixie of electric bikes. And it's kind of, I kind of just love this look and love this bike. Um, and I really recommend the Brooks Saddle. Uh, notice it also has a carbon fiber seat seat post and all this comes in to where the bike weighs only 45 pounds so 45 pounds about 30 miles an hour we're getting really close to the one-to-one -one thing we're shooting for which is 
perfect would be 40 pounds and 40 miles an hour. But uh, hey, 45 pounds and 30 miles an hour really isn't bad. And of course it has our 14 amp hour uh, energy dense battery. And basically when you put all these ingredients together, you end up getting a real quality bike that you're not gonna get without spending a lot of money. Uh, we've always been into build your own e-bikes and recommended people to go that way. But now what we're doing is we're offering a bike that you probably couldn't build one at this price unless you get a really good deal on the frame. Cause you know, we're, we're buying these bikes from KHS in amazing volume and we're getting a really good deal from them. We're next door to the company we have dinner with the owners and we get, uh, uh, you know, we can go pick them up whenever we want them. We buy them lots and lots at a time. And what that does is we're able to get like below wholesale price and we're able to pass that down to you where you're getting the electric bike just a few hundred dollars more of what the retail cost of the bike would be. This is a thousand dollar bike to start with and it's the Grit 220. You can look it up online. I'm not really sure what it costs retail, but it's a pricey bike and this is the 2016 this year's edition. And um, basically when you look at all other electric bikes, they start, they just skimp. Like every component's made in China. They're just hoping that you're not gonna notice that you know, the brakes are crap or the you know, steering tube or the uh, seat post or whatever it is, it's all like kind of clunky. And this thing is just like a, like, kind of like a Ferrari. And with the BBS HD, it really lives up to that Ferrari or Lamborghini kind of feel and something you can ride and like be proud of and know that it's gonna last for years to come and everything's upgradable. You can even put a 25 amp hour uh, battery in the frame if you want to. You can upgrade the controller if you buy this bike and get a, uh, get a ludicrous controller. It will no longer be street legal. It'll be like 2,500 watts. And you could do like, then you really could do like 40, 45 on this thing and you get the one to one, which is what we're looking for. The one to one hyper bike. If you put the- It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. The one to one hyper bike. 2017. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for watching. This is Eric from Lunacycle. And um, yeah, we love these new road bikes and this one's going out to a customer. I wish I knew his name, but we're sending it out tonight and we're really proud and put a lot of love into these things. Uh, this bike uh, took us uh, about five, five to six hours for one of our top mechanics to build. And we, you know, every bike we test ride and dial it in and then we take about an hour uh, uh, or up to two hours just to get it ready for shipping to make sure that you get it nicely, which is completely different than how most people are doing this, where you're getting a bike kind of direct from China. But I think you guys would really like this bike. Uh, we're proud of it. Um, also, uh, it does have a gear sensor on this one. That's um, an added option. That's one of the really hard things to install. It, it's a little finicky and a little tricky and if we, we install them all the time, and uh, uh, I'd recommend it as an option on this bike. Okay, so thank you very much.